What is happening to my county is very disgusting. Mr. Speaker, I got a statement from Kenya Commercial Bank, Bungoma. And on the 18th of March, 776,223 shillings was withdrawn nine times from the same account at the same time. This money was ostensibly to go and buy jerrycans to put on marketplaces for people to wash hands. Mr. Speaker, this kind of reckless spending of public resources, the law is very clear. If you are spending more than 10,000, you must tender. If you are spending a huge sum of money in millions, there is electronic transfer of money. Why would nine people carrying each a check leaf of 776,223 walk into the bank together, withdraw cash, and hand over to an individual, ostensibly for fighting COVID-19. Mr. Speaker, COVID-19 cannot be an excuse for misuse of public resources. And we want to urge that accountability be even be heightened at this time, because this is the time when people take leave of their senses and think nobody's watching them and start spending money recklessly. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, I want to support the majority leader in his cry about the castration of the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, when Martin Shkuk once said exactly what Murkomen said, he was taken to Kamita and kept there until he came out crippled. Today, things are different. And I want to urge you, that don't just speak. You hold a position of responsibility. Show the way. Parliament is now an ox. It has been castrated. You are the people who move bills here to force everybody to rubber stamp decisions of the executive. And we want to see change. Change that makes sense. Change that restores Kenya to its constitutional responsibility, its constitutionalism, and the right of people to decide the right things for this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There is an allocation of money for planting trees in water towers. 80 million every year for three years from the European Union. You go around these uh, water tower count counties, Mr. Speaker, not a single tree has been planted in the first one year. And the money is gone. This money is most likely being misappropriated. And I want to urge the distinguished senator for Homer Bay, I don't know if he's still the chairman of, of public accounts in this house, to zero down on this allocation of 8 million to 11 counties for reforesting our water towers. All this money is not going to do the right thing. This is taxpayers' money from Europe, for heaven's sake. And we must learn how to respect what we are being given by others. Mr. Speaker, I want to urge the committee to look at that.